Here's the monitor to heavy rains in the bay. Some lighter rains extending on up towards uh, Wilkes-Barre and Scranton and Allentown into Philly now and edging on towards New York City. So most everyone is about at work by now. But for the commute home, you may want to keep dinner warm a little longer because the commute may take a little longer with the wet weather. But you notice the Pennsylvania Turnpike and over eastern Ohio, you get around Akron, Canton, Mansfield, down towards Columbus, there is some wet weather. But the heaviest weather right now is up around Chesapeake Bay, extending east of D south of D.C. and up towards Baltimore. And then you get down to Richmond, some pretty good downpours. And as you can see, everything's steadily moving to the east at about 20. Back into Dayton, things are easing up right now. But around Columbus and Mansfield, as you mentioned, some rain. And then you get up towards Detroit. And we're seeing some wet weather moving into the west side of town, pushing over towards Dearborn and heading to the downtown area and up to Saginaw and the thumb of Michigan. Everything sliding on to the east. 60s dominate the, the temperature scale here, although Albany and Rochester are at 58. And Charleston is at 70 degrees right now. 70s through much of the deep south with 80 in Charleston, 81 Tampa, 83 in Miami right now. And we can see some rain and a few embedded thunderstorms and a streak of clouds marching across northeast Texas. Not much emanating from them yet, but you get in northern Mississippi and in the middle Tennessee and in the southern Appalachians, and we've got the rains, a few thunderstorms popping here. You get around Tupelo and down towards Columbus, Mississippi, and over to Greenwood, and then around Huntsville and Muscle Shoals, some showers, and we've seen some rain around Chattanooga, so I-75 heading on up through that dense fog area up towards Knoxville is going to be soupy today, and then later this afternoon, well, we could see some severe weather as we get to maximum heating about the time that system edges to the Carolinas, and things could get a bit ugly. Ugly. Cheryl? Pockets of free pressure system will be sliding out of Minnesota and eventually drifting towards the east, spreading a swath of showers and storms. Boy, what a wet start to the day it's been up in Wisconsin. Still, the rain is continuing for Appleton and Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Heavy downpours in progress for Green Bay and Sturgeon Bay. Rains over towards Marquette and Sault Ste. Marie. Sloppy weather, too, for Houghton Lake, Alpena, and Pelston, Michigan. And still some rain showers, too, in progress around the Detroit metro area. So if you live in Mount Clemens or Sterling Heights or Lansing or Flint, give yourself some extra driving time as you're heading off to work this morning. Well, it looks as if the rain, though, should be tapering off somewhat for the Western Lakes later this afternoon as our low continues to migrate towards the east. Meanwhile, our secondary low pressure system will sweep up through the Ohio Valley, bringing some very soaking rains throughout this region. Moisture feeding northward from the Gulf and moisture, too, feeding in from off the Atlantic will help to fuel those showers and storms. Again, the weather's steadily going downhill, too, for those of you in the Pacific Northwest as the rain slide out of California and then make a headway over towards Washington, Oregon. So a lousy beach day around Coos Bay and Brookings, Oregon. Showers and thunderstorms will be in progress. And again, some of these thunderstorms that pop up across the Pacific Northwest could be rather strong in nature. Now, that low-pressure system will continue to ride over towards the Northeast for tomorrow. So the morning rush hour wasn't too bad for those of you in Boston or New York City, but boy, tomorrow Tomorrow looks like a tough day throughout the Northeast. Again, expecting locally heavy rains for portions of the Ohio Valley. And flash flood watches have gone up today for portions of Ohio, West Virginia, and Pennsylvania, where we could see in excess of three inches. And the clouds and the rain will hold back temperatures, rain cool conditions, so highs at best 60s, even some 50s around the Great Lakes and the Ohio Valley. Cool and damp, paper mm -hmm. boys.
Michelin Travel Wise is brought to you by Michelin and your local. Actions now spreading into the mid-Atlantic states. Got some wet weather here down into the mid-south as well. The Gulf Coast is looking okay. A little bit of fog around uh, Columbia and over towards uh, Orangeburg, South Carolina. Some patchy fog in the northeast and a fair amount across the Red River and Missouri River valleys here this morning. Then it's quiet through the Rockies and then you pick up that wet weather with that tropical system or the remnants thereof in northern California and western Oregon. So I-5 is a little bit soggy as you might expect. Now from around Portland, Salem, Eugene, down towards Medford and then towards a Redding and Red Bluff, California. Still some wet weather on Highway 5, Interstate 5, so be careful there. Beyond that, the problems are in the Great Lakes and especially in the Mid-Atlantic. Now getting some pretty good downpours in and around Chesapeake Bay. So this segment, of, well, the loop around Washington up to Baltimore is going to be very soggy. I-95 wet as you work your way down into eastern Virginia. Richmond's pretty soggy too, so I-85 is messy. I-81 as you work into western uh, Virginia. Goodbye to the beautiful weather in the Northeast, as rain will be showing up across most of the region for today. Good morning, and welcome to this edition of WeatherScope. I'm Cheryl Lemke. And I'm Bruce Edwards. Now, eventually that rain will extend from New York to the Carolinas, but potentially we could see some severe weather also along the Gulf Coast. Now, the bright spot is that in the southeast, the precipitation that it'll come will help cut those high temperatures we've had for quite a while. Now, precipitation today could worsen the flooding situation, however, in southeastern Ohio. Now, unless you had yourself a set of waders like this gentleman here or uh, plan on traveling by a rowboat, Travel was almost impossible in and around the town of Chauncey. Now, there was uh, cumulative work on the heavy rains uh, over the weekend, coupled with the rains over the last couple of days, caused dozens of families to evacuate, and row, row, row your boat it was. Now, more rain on tap again this morning with scattered showers this afternoon, but it will get better. Now, Tuesday's precipitation in St. Louis was a day-long event and, and uh, had uh, folks in the Gateway City scrambling for the umbrellas and the raincoats, and it has been until this morning before the Gateway City has been able to shake the fog and the drizzle. From this point on, while it may not be a picture-perfect day, won't be bad at all, though, across St. Louis, as uh, we will see drier weather moving in, as this rainy weather has moved on out. It's not looking too bad in the gateway to the west. All the rainy weather is marching out through the Ohio Valley and sliding east. Got a lot of clouds in southern New England, so and goodbye to the pretty-looking days around Boston, Hartford, and Providence, but the, the rain will not be arriving till later today. Now, it's already in D.C. Some of the rain could be heavy here, and again, you see southeastern Ohio with the wet weather, and that's one of the spots where we really don't need it because it's been pretty soggy there. I know I was up in Cleveland this weekend when those storms raked across the lakes. Those are some ugly, nasty, ooh, 
clouds. I'll tell you, you see the clouds moving up and down with so much instability. It was really sort of nasty there. They had some suspected tornadoes, of course, and some heavy downpours. Well, now the wet weather's to the mid-Atlantic, and some of the heaviest rain, as you can see, from southeastern Pennsylvania and of the Chesapeake Bay, getting some pretty good downpours here. A day to keep the dinghy at the dock. Some moisture moving towards New York City, not hitting the ground yet, but you're getting around Philly and Cherry Hills. We're talking about it. Here you can see up D.C. and Baltimore, there's your rain dropping right on down through, through Chesapeake Bay over to Richmond. Some moderate downpours here. You get around Lynchburg and south towards uh, Galax. We're seeing some heavier storms. Everything just slowly drifting to the northeast at about 20. Now you get back into central and eastern Ohio from uh, Columbus to Zanesville over towards Youngstown, Mansfield. Some good downpours scattered through the mountains. And then upper level systems swirling about in the Great Lakes from Milwaukee to Green Bay over to Muskegon and on to Saginaw and Detroit. You got some wet weather here. It's all slipping off towards the east. The numbers are not going to change much from what they are now because of the clouds and wet weather. In the deep south, we'll see things heating up along the Gulf Coast. Atlanta with clouds at 76 right now. And to the northern parts of Georgia, Alabama, and Mississippi, we see some showers and storms ahead of the trough. And that could give rise to strong to severe storms a little bit later on. Right now, from around Columbus, Mississippi to Tupelo, towards Muscle Shoals, and over to Chattanooga, there are showers and storms. Cheryl? Pockets of precipitation will be dotting the nation. And for those of you in the Pacific Northwest, you can thank what's left of a tropical storm for the wet weather. What was once Tropical Storm Ignacio is...